In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this Live Edge walnut serving board that basically anyone can make. What's going on guys? So I had this piece of black walnut laying around uh, and it wasn't really ideal for a whole lot. So I decided to go for a Live Edge serving board. Uh, I started off by removing all the bark and uh, sanding off some of the grit. Initially I was going to keep that knot and add it into the design of it, but then I decided against it. It was just too much color contrast for my taste. I cut it down to size and then took my jigsaw and cut that knot out. This actually worked out really well because then what was left served as a, a handle for the serving board. And I then went on to sand down the whole thing, sand off the, the rough corners, and uh, round out that handle where I cut out that knot. Here I wanted to put a hole in the handle just to for hanging it up and stuff so I formed a rough sketch of it, drilled a pilot hole and then I didn't want a perfect oval so I first drilled the, I kind of wanted like a teardrop shape so I drilled the top a smaller drill bit and then the bottom one I made a little larger. And then I took my jigsaw and basically connected the two holes. And that worked out pretty well for the hole. Uh, I then sprayed the board in water and then I let it dry before giving it its final sanding. What that does is as it dries it raises the grain so then after your final sanding it's nice and smooth. Otherwise the first person that goes to wash it it's going to be really rough and the sponge is going to catch on all the fibers. So that's definitely a step not to skip when making cutting boards. This is definitely the best part of making cutting boards putting this mineral oil on, which I'll link in the description. And then you can basically watch the board come to life, watch all the grain pop. Especially with black walnut. The wood is beautiful. What I did with this is I put it on pretty heavy and then I put it on my bench pucks and just let it soak in for a couple hours before wiping off the excess and then let it sit for 24 hours. And then this is a step I forgot to do which I should have done before oiling the board but I went ahead and did it anyway over the oil and it turned out pretty good still. And then I also branded a small piece of leather tied it around the handle because I'm putting this live on my website so I wanted it a nice complete finish to it. And there you have it guys. A nice charcuterie style cutting board for serving appetizers, bread, and anything else. If you enjoyed the video please hit like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching guys.